Paul Robeson was a key figure in the American civil rights movement. But wh what's less known is his solitary, um, with solidarity with Welsh mining communities. Yes, one of his lesser known films, The Proud Valley, has now been remastered by the British Film Institute and is to be taken on tour as part of their season celebrating black actors. So Larry Gwyn Jones reports. Back to work with no repining all through the night. The story of a black man who enchanted a South Wales mining community. Paul Robeson's film The Proud Valley was a box office flop, but now it's been remastered and taken on tour. Ivor England is a former miner and trade union leader. For him, Robeson is a personal hero. The old man, I can remember him saying, oh, Robson is there, Robson has got something, Robson has got not only a voice, but he's got a way of speaking on behalf of his people, and that stayed with me for very, very many years. Mining has now largely disappeared from the valleys of South Wales, but that connection between the people of these communities and the son of a slave who became a lawyer, a civil rights activist, and one of the most famous actors of his generation in Jaws. This day, let it be known yes, steady, mate, steady. The Proud Valley was made in 1940, but Robeson's connection to Wales dates back to the 1920s when he met a group of miners who had walked from South Wales to London to draw attention to the hardship they endured. For the first time, he saw that the miners' struggle was similar to his own struggle for civil rights. My warmest greetings to the people of my beloved Wales. In 1957, Robeson was banned from travelling. He addressed a group of miners from a secret studio. Thousands gathered to hear him sing at the Miners Eisteddfod in Porth Call. Former MP Howell Francis was there. It was quite stunning, quite electric that we heard his voice uh, coming from this studio in New York. Paul Robeson was one of the few people who actually stood up to racism and the lynchings in the Deep South and campaigned for peace and campaigned for colonial freedom. Uh, he had that same internationalist view that the South Wales miners had, uh, a shared common humanity. It's that history that the British Film Institute is celebrating as part of its Black Star season. Paul Robeson was particularly proud of this film um, because it gave him an opportunity to express his socialist beliefs and he could represent um, the Wales working class. Um, in many of his films he felt he couldn't do this through because he was oppressed by the Hollywood system. An exhibition of Robeson's work will run at the BFI South Bank in London until the end of January but perhaps it's in South Wales that he will be most fondly remembered. Tulare Glyn Jones, BBC News.